Alrighty guys, here we're at Lowe's and I was, we're just here and I had a question to myself. I'm like, oh, I just kind of noticed these mowers here. So I'm going to talk about this here and see what you guys think. Is this commercial or not? We're going to find out. Alrighty, so before your eyes right here, you have the Aaron's Zenith 60 inch, 23 and a half horsepower Kawasaki in Illinois right now at Lowe's it is 7899. So it's not horribly expensive. Um, get a few things off the bat here. I've never ran these mowers. D hardly know anything about them. I do know Gravely makes them. I'm pretty sure of that at least. I'm um, going to go wide lens on this one. Um, so, I mean, my question for you guys, is this commercial or is this not commercial? Because, I mean, I, I, I'm I, very glad with my Kubota I have right now. But I've never noticed this mower. I mean, of course, you're not going to get the same dealer support you have unless you have like a Aaron's or uh gravely dealer near you but i mean look at this we got a kawasaki kawasaki fx 730v puts out 23 and a half horsepower i think i mean we got the commercial air filter this is a commercial engine we got the commercial mowing features like look you got a really nice deck here it's a 60 inch i mean these wheels they're nowhere near as big as the ones on the kubota these are 22s by 12s uh four bolts I mean, but it looks pretty sweet. Like, check it out. I mean, it's got the roll bar, so it definitely, definitely looks more commercial. It's not an EFI thing. You get your choke. Uh, interesting key set there. Way to do it. Throttle's a little flimsy on this one for some reason. Uh, a red PTO. I've never seen that one before. But, I mean, check this out. I'm going to sit on the seat, but I'm going to get really wet. Oh, there's my finger. Check it out. You got a nice-looking seat here. And, like I said, I've never ran gravely or anything. You even got the seat belt for it. Okay, definitely nowhere near as comfortable as mine, but the armrest nice. This is interesting. Is this your safety, I guess it would be, for the uh, mower? If so, that would be kind of nice, actually. So I want to check. I want to know that. Is that your safety or not? Definitely uh, very small. Consider. I mean, of course, the seat can move back, but definitely very small compared to my Kubota. I mean, let's see here. I guess this would be the deck. I'll lift things. So you want to go to 375? Um, okay, so that's, I mean, this deck moves very, very well. Let's take it down to 1.5. I mean, check this out. It's definitely lighter than my Kubota deck. I don't know if that springs, because we got one big spring here, and it looks like we have another one under there. But then over here, we got the parking brake. Pretty nice. Um, cup holder. I like a little pocket. You got one gas tank and another cup holder. There's no USB like cigarette lighter uh, chargers like mine has. But I mean, check this out, check this out. If I mean, it fits your first year and you wanna get a commercial mower to do commercial properties or like even third or second year and you don't wanna go spend 12, 10, 13, 14 grand at the price of these brand new commercial zero turns now. I mean, this doesn't look like a bad option. I know Gravely makes a good machine, so I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron's makes a good one. I know they make good snowboards. I mean, look, there's your fuel indicator. Let's see, how easy is it to lift this seat up? So we got an interesting little bracket here. Let's see if I can do this. How's this work? Okay, there we go. All right. So I don't know how big the fuel tank is, but it's definitely similar to mine. The fuel tank runs on the side. Um, easy access fuel filter, dipstick, hydro, hydro fuses all relatively batteries in the same spot as mine fuses and stuff are of course and then back here you got the bumper and everything you know these look like they could be good hook points toe points i mean solid frame for sure you gotta uh i guess that'd be to drain your oil i mean the engine looks good and everything you got real good muffler protection but under here are your hydros you got hydro gear commercial z t dash three one hundred you got two of those of course so i don't know how good of hydros are i've never ran any i mean i, I know mine aren't or anything but like here's some model information and stuff you need to know uh right here let's see that's not that ooh, that's a loose bolt that's interesting why is that loose um right down here would be your hydro release right right there um so i mean this is interesting. I mean, you definitely got some more residential version of Aaron's. And as far as I know, they only make this in a 60-inch cut. It'd be cool to see him make it in a 52 even, because maybe you got smaller properties. You don't need a 60. But, I mean, a little, little nitpicking here. 
Uh, these are welded on, so if you bend these, you can't really replace them. You can replace the tires, but it's welded on. And they're trying to make this cheap, it looks like, so it's not gonna be, of course, all the same craftsmanship and accessibility. Like, look, you have one, two, three bolts just to take that off to get to your spindles on that side. Uh, four bolts on this side. And like I said, the deck is relatively pretty simple looking. I mean, it's definitely no stamped deck. I'm sure that's a fabricated deck, but then you got your two rollers here. So, I mean, it's like, it looks like a solid machine, honestly. It'd be very cool to run these. You got your spindles. Uh, I have no clue on grease points. These don't appear to be greasable spindles. I could be wrong. No, why is this? Okay, okay. Kind of have to mess with that. I could be wrong about that. But then, oh, let's see. I would say under here you gotta grease that because, I mean, who doesn't have to grease that? But over here you got my cousins of, or looks like what my mower used to be. But, guys, let me know what you think. I mean, a little pro it's got on my Kubota is it's got a rubber discharge chute and it can stay up, which is a big plus. I mean, look how easy that is. Good job, Aaron. You did a great job. I took mine off already. It's rubber. For one, mine was a hard plastic. You Look, check this out. It's, it's going to stay. But then to get it out, you got to pick it up and uh, dump it. So, I mean, look, no chains, straight bolt things like my Kubota. So, I mean, there definitely is commercial DNA in this mower beyond a shadow of a doubt. But I'm also seeing hints of residential stuff. And like I said, I have no clue how well these errands run. Never ran one. I just now seen they make a commercial mower. It looks like who knows how long this has been out. But I mean, like I said, look at this price. Eight grand probably with taxes and everything. You get a, looks like a good commercial mower. Maybe small tires. So I'm gonna go check this one out over here. I mean, we got a battery powered one. Then they make these smaller ones. They all look not horrible. Is this a 60? Yep, it is a 60. So I mean, they definitely look like they would be solid mowers. So let me know what you guys think. Is this commercial or not? Because I mean, if I wanted to pick up a second mower this year, I mean, I don't have any plans on picking up a second commercial 60 inch mower. I'm looking for more of like a 36 walk behind or potentially a 36 stand on. That's a whole nother story. But is that commercial? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments down below. And let me know if you guys run these because I want to check that out if you do because it looks very, very, very interesting. Looks like a solid machine. Aaron's, if you're watching this, don't uh, feel free to walk, feel free to reach out and give me a holler because I would love to see what those mowers can do. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, commercial or not, that's the question of the day. Have a good one.